Welcome to the NBA Desktop! Yay! Let's get into the feed. The loudest two points in Knicks history, Mario Hazonia with a step over of his own. The bad pass. Hazonia drives it. Ah! And get it. Oh! Let me hear you! Only two points in the game. That was it for Mario <laughs> Giannis, what did you think when you got stepped over by a f***ing scrub? I'm gonna punch him in his nut next time. If you listen closely, he, I think he actually says nut. He actually doesn't say nuts. He's just gonna punch him in one of his nuts. Nut. Yeah. Yeah. Unless Hazonia has massive I think uh, Hazonia would like to present himself as someone who has large nuts, and maybe that's why he can't really play that well. Yeah. It's just like hard to maneuver around <laughs> the court. Nice. Here's uh, Mary Hazonia waking up on game day. <laughs> <laughs> Hazonia on stepping over, to be honest. But if you feel fear, this is not the place for you. New York is not a place for you, and this team is not a place for you. Again, Mario Hazonia scored two points, and then Giannis had to walk it back. You know what I said? I meant it. You know, uh... <laughs> I, I apologize for saying I want to punch him in his nut, but I did mean it. <laughs> but I know I gotta choose a. Uh... Better words. Oh, yeah. I do. yeah, like testicle. Gonads yeah. in his daddy bags. Right. No, I... What? Daddy bags? Is not good? Yeah, it's fine. What's wrong with daddy bags? <laughs> <laughs> you just got weird about daddy bags. Sometimes it's tough because I'm not from here, I'm from overseas, so. Sometimes. What? I like that he tries to blame being an immigrant. Giannis, don't apologize. Ball up your gigantic fist. Next time you see this man and punch his nuts up through his body so they come out, travel up his windpipe out of his mouth and then go up into orbit. And I promise you, no one will ever step over you again. Adam Silver, commissioner of the league, this can't stand. <laughs> How are you gonna let one of the most prominent players in your league threaten violence upon another player? And then in an apology, basically say, I meant it, and also I will strike this man's nuts? <laughs> well, is this the kind of like role model for the young people, Adam Silver? David Stern would have suspended Giannis for 15 games. Why are you soft on testicle striking? <laughs> Mario, man. You're already talking to many demons, it seems like. <laughs> Can we just take a second to talk about the fact that Giannis, he gets our Physical Evolution Dominance Award. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? This is like when you train your Pokemon. That's And that's just natural. That's just lifting weights. And now, the ringer's own Pat Muldowney on Giannis holding 50 pound dumbbells and flexing with an inc just an incredible amount of musculature showing here. Jason, if you picked up the heaviest dumbbells that you could lift right now, okay. and turned slightly to the side like that and had one of your buddies light the picture right and take it, you would 100% look almost the exact same as Giannis does in his club. <laughs> this says more about Instagram this and <laughs> selfies than it does about Giannis' off-season no. weightlifting program. Uh, so you're saying this is lighting? <laughs> it's lighting, it's, it's angles, it's flexing. I need to put whatever filter this is on all of my pictures. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Clay was on Reddit recently, and he had some great answers to certain questions. Here he is on when asked which teammate he'd like to take to a desert island. Probably Steven Adams up first because he looks like Aquaman, oh. and he would be well-versed in the ocean. I mean, that's racist. Then probably <laughs> Steph. I, I love that he picked Steph second. If KD did this, they'd be all over him. <laughs> they would be f***ing destroying him right now. And third, man, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably pick Carl Malone because he's guy is a great hunter, I guess. Uh, remember when he said this to uh, Kobe Bryant? He's a hunter. I think that's a bad pick from Clay, personally. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jim Boylan is the new coach of the Chicago Bulls. Jim Boylan takeover continued as the practice went two and a half hours the day after a game and included suicides to get what he deemed a poorly conditioned team in shape. Yeah! Jim, listen, does this team want to win the state championship? This is varsity. Oh wait, this is the NBA? Oh, never mind. What? <laughs> Kendrick Perkins is just angry. He's professionally angry. And here he is with a lot of feelings about the voice. You pulled out your pocket knife and stabbed DeAndre Nico right in the back with that bullshit you pulled tonight. Adam Levine, you are a bullshit motherfucker for that ho shit. For that ho shit. Constant fucking ho shit from Adam Levine. Yeah. Yes! Look at you. Hold on a second. I'm just queuing up uh, Victor Oladipo's record. 
He's actually he's speaking about it. Oh, he's down. <laughs> Is Don still on? Yes, sorry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> sorry, I was just vibing to that. And now we're going to go to Victor Oladipo correspondent John Gonzalez yeah. with some spice on the latest uh, album by uh, musical sensation Victor Oladipo. Can I do a dramatic reading? Please. Yes, thank you. From Drown. Yes. What if I was made for you to enjoy? Mm. And it's mm. just for you and only you, mm. your sex toy. Oh. Take you down, eat you up. Oh. It's so good. Eat you up, babe. <gasps> and I go down, 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 down. Every time I go down, 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 down. <laughs> Give me your body it was made to explore. Put my hands around that waist. Put the cake in my face. Yeah! <laughs> Desktop needs to take a five minute break. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, John yeah. Gonzalez. Woo! Oh, family album. Here we go. Guys, yeah. Courtney Lee back. Okay. And here he is. Get that, take that, take that, take that. Yeah! We need to lose anyway. Courtney Lee, thank you for that. Beautiful miss. Look at this in the background. What the f? And let's go to son Ennis Cantor with a fan. Senda is an X fan, by the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Fade blocks. Yeah. Foot action. Here is obviously the feud between Draymond and KD is still going on because here is Draymond on Instagram stories with the starburst filter showing off KD's God! What? Instagram allows that? That should be taken off Instagram. I block it. Here's uh, John Wall. John Wall, by the way, is the person who's not moving. That is, what? Who? He's back. He's back. John, you're a grown ass man. And if you don't want to chase Emmanuel Moody, Emmanuel Moody, why? He's out here red leg. Let him take threes. Let him take them. No one should ever criticize you for just taking a playoff or five. Okay, here's the Ingalls family with Santa Claus. Or as they call him in Australia, what do they call him? They call him Santa Claus also? They call him Santa Claus also. I don't try. Yes, the children are terrified. That's fine. That always happens. Look at the little Chelsea boots on, on child Ingalls. Look at this fit that this fing infant is throwing off. He's got like a little bit of drool coming down his cardigan. There's the little drip. And here's the drip is coming down here too. Dripping all the way down from here down to there. Good for them. Fantastic. I fave that. So LeBron James is sleepy because he's old now. Man, I'm washed. I went to bed at 8.30 last night and woke up at 7.30 a.m. Man, what? I literally slept for 11 hours. You, can, you don't need to add it up. Missed my company Xmas holiday party and everything. Now, the king doth protest too much. You just say, I went to bed. You don't need to say then, man, what? And then literally I slept for 11 hours. Yeah, we can do the math. I fave it. And now with some spice on LeBron James going to bed at 8.30 and waking up at 7.30 a.m. Haley O'Shaughnessy. <laughs> You have a theory about this. I have many theories. The Let's first hear it. is that it's bullshit. Uh, yes! Oh. First of all, what holiday party starts after 8.30? That's a great point. I crashed one last week. It started at 7. <laughs> I was at 7. This is a cover. Also, what company is this? Is this like uh, well, so uninterrupted? Let's go through his companies, right? Yeah. You think it's Blaze Pizza? <laughs> if it's a Blaze Pizza Company party, you're a fool. If it's the Lakers, I kind of get it. If it's Clutch Sports, then we finally have confirmation that it's his company. No! Did he just out himself? I think he did. Thank you, Haley. Thank you. Yeah.